Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of St. Seiya's Bronze Saint Cygnus Hyoga, actually Swan Hyoga. And we have him right here, uh, I just have him over the side because we're just going to do that real, uh, later, a little bit later, don't worry about it, we'll get to the review of it. But as always we're going to get the box, we're going to show you the box real quick. Uh, this is the box right quick, it does open up and I did buy two of them, it says St. Cloth Myth over on the side, Cygnus Cloth. It does open up, so I got two of them. Only thing is that this was missing parts, and I was wondering what the heck parts was I missing. So I didn't want to do a review on missing parts. You can see in the back over here, it does come with a few bits of armor. It comes with the Aurora Thunder Attack, and of course the little swan over here that is the battle armor stand. So made by Bandai back in 2004. So that's rather nice and everything. So let's go ahead and see, uh, show this figure. It is a six inch figure and uh, we'll show you the stand here in a minute well actually let's go with the stand real quick the stands not bad I like it it has still the nice die cast and notice a nice slow gold shimmery finish the red eyes a good paint on the beak good looking detail wings actually do flap it has a little bit of a uh, what do you call that mobility but it is an armor stand so it's not meant to be you know it's just a display piece all right on to the man himself good old Cygnus and of course he does have some interchangeable things over here about that uh, let's go with the rotation real quick he does have two points of neck rotation the neck and crane and the thing is on the ball joint and while I got that his little hair piece does remove which is useful because now he can wear his tiara and we'll get to that point later on as you can see shoulders on a ball joint and a swivel has a bicep swivel double jointed elbow uh, it doesn't have the finger crunch because you, the wrists or the fists are interchangeable and as a matter of fact you get freaking whole butt ton of fists so you get let's see six pairs yeah six pairs you get five different pairs on the box and in addition to the fists that he already has so there you go six pairs so dang a lot of got the uh, ab crunch over here full waist swivel ball jointed hip kind of a thigh swivel, double jointed knee, has a little swivel on the lower part of the shin, the ankle pivots and is on a swivel joint and it does have toe so it got good amount of range of good amount of posability so he could definitely he is a lanky figure there's no doubt about that good amount of articulation and he can stand yeah, there we go not bad it is about a six inch figure so let's get them all posed up so first thing we're going to do is put his nice little tiara. <laughs> Alright, he's a popular figure for St. Seiya. I don't know why. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pimping? Alright, let's get all the parts over here from the swan. Let's go ahead and stand them up while we're waiting for... Alright, well, let's not make it pretty. You know what? This isn't pretty. Let's get the gauntlets out. Let's get the shield. Get all this. Yeah, I'm not going to try to disassemble this. I'm not going to be pretty about disassembling it. I'm just going to go ahead and put him on the guy. Because after all, oops, says his wing. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, a lot of pieces. And I don't know, that's the, that's the thing about St. Seiya. Like it or hate it, there does come with a lot of pieces. So, hey, whatever. That's your thing. St. Seiya is a big popular thing over here. So now we got different parts over here. Let's go ahead and start assembling this bad boy. Oh yeah, <laughs> that took a little while. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is put it on the chest over here. Bam. Ooh, make sure you got it up, right side up. He's got this damn hair piece. Freaking, what do you call these androgynous people? I don't know. Hate the level of androgyny that the Japanese just seem to love. I don't know what's the big deal with that. Freaking effeminate, <laughs> effeminate guys. Oh well. Put his little piece over here. Now we can start doing this. Got gauntlets, he got little tiaras, you got another tiara if you want to put them on there. What is the deal with the tiara? And look at the tiara, it does have the same iconic swan figures over here, the detailing. So, yeah, definitely a good amount of detail. Alright, let's see. Now we got a gauntlet. Yeah, I gotta remove all this piece right here, so fret not. Here's the thing about this, definitely a lot of extra pieces for what? I don't have any clue. That's okay. And of course, to remove the gaunt or put the gauntlets on, you're gonna have to remove his 
fists and the fists just ball up and the thing about the fists is that they are in a ball joint so not too bad over there so okay no big deal just want to make sure all right or are these oh yeah I'm sorry I got the wrong thing here there we go that is what we got over here these are actually for his legs and it takes a little while so bear with me over here there you go look at that that's awesome legs same thing over here if you want to put his little pimp in yeah, they just pop out and look at that see good good joint rotation bada bing bada bing so give me a second here I'll get them all nice and awesome there we go look at that bada bing bada boom give me a minute alright I'm gonna try to entertain y'all as best as I can while I'm trying to form old boy Forming Voltron takes forever, and this is one thing. This is the nice little knee joints over here. So he's looking pretty good over here so far. He's got awesome looking shoulder pads. Hey, look at that. Fit like a glove. Okay. Bada bing. Bada bing, bada boom. Eh, some of these fit okay. That's okay. If I can't get it in there, oh well. Soon. <laughs> Alright, that one went off. Oh well, big deal. Okay, and one more gauntlet. And he's almost done. And we go. Look at that. Double jointed gauntlet. Yeah. And give me a second here. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible for you guys so you, hey, you don't have to. There we go. Ah, sweet. And last but not least, this little piece over here goes around his waist. And hopefully I can get this. All right, plugged in. All right, voila! Woo! <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. But he's looking pretty awesome as he is. Very poseable as always. So there we go. Let's go ahead and I caught him just in time here. Let's go ahead and show you in perspective with a six-inch figure. This is good old she sponsor she. Or, sorry, yeah, he is about six inches tall, so not too bad. But, and if you want to see in relation to the old figures, man, <laughs> yeah, he absolutely towers over the old figure. There's no doubt about that. So definitely great articulation. Uh, if you like these figures, hey, they're not that bad. I'll give them a good eight, eight and a half out of ten. He's well articulated, so I think he's well worth it. I got him for cheap, and yeah, that's all I got. But one thing I also want to point out is it's cicada season again so if you ever wanted to know what the heck a cicada looks like those noisy japanese insects that everybody lo knows and loves well there it is it happened to die right on my balcony so there you go that's all i got youtubers and i'll catch you all next time